you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 8th tuesday the solemnity of the immaculate conception of the blessed virgin mary let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38 in the sixth month the angel gabriel was sent by god to a town in galilee called nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was joseph of the house of david the virgin's name was mary and he came to her and said greetings favored one the lord is with you but she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greetings this might be the angel said to her do not be afraid mary for you have found favor with god and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you will name him jesus he will be great and will be called the son of the most high and the lord god will give to him the throne of his ancestor david he will reign over the house of jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end mary said to the angel how can this be since i am a virgin the angel said to her the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you Therefore the child to be born will be holy and he will be called son of David God and now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren for nothing will be impossible with God then Mary said here I am I the servant of the Lord let it be with me according to your word then the angel departed from her the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ happy this day my dear friends the immaculate conception means that uh, mary from the first moment of her existence was totally free from the influence of that universal sinfulness which touches all from the time we are born the reason behind this belief it is not explicitly contained in the scripture and was only infallibly depend in 1844 is that only a total sinless environment was fitting for the son of god in his becoming human being it has a very long history in the church the first reading reminds us that uh, it was a woman who was instrumental in bringing up pain and suffering the result of sin to the whole world it will also be a woman who will be instrumental in bringing to the world its salvation and healing the second reading tells us that all of us have been called by god to share his love and blessings long before even we existed this is even more true of mary who was singled out from eternity by god to be the mother of his son the gospel speaks not of the mary's conception but that of christ It begins the moment Mary says that S yes, the angel greets her as full of grace filled with the God's love and God's favor this has always been interpreted as indicating mother's total freedom from any taint of sin as ark of the covenant it was felt that the incarnate word should begin his human existence in an environment untouched by sin we can apply each of reading the to our own lives we have been often the cause of sin and pain in the others lives let's rather be people who bring wholeness and healing let us be deeply aware that long before we were born every single one of us has been called by god to know love and serve him we have been the constant recipient of blessings let's pray Let's ask Mary today to help us to love Jesus as she did right through the pain of the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. May God bless us. Happy Wednesday.